Well, to the figgins of Anamneses with the whole abulous business. For I declare to Deshuim, I'm beginning to get sunsick. I'm not half Norwayne for nothing. The fine ice so temperate of our, alas, those times are not so far off as you might wish to be congealed. So now, I'll ask of you, let ye create no scenes in my primifor's wake. I don't want you to be billow fighting your bitty Moriarty duels, gobble gabble over me till you spit stout, you understand, after soused mackerels, sniffling clam bake to herring and impudent barney, braggart and blarney, nor you ugly lemon colic gobs over the hobs in a sewing circle, stopping oddments and maids' costumes at sweeping reductions, wearing out your o's by sitting around your odds, making a recurrency round where I last put it, with the painters in too. Curse luck, with your rags up, exciting your mucuses, turning break farts into lost soup ears, and so on they nor you flabbies on your groaning chairs over Baldar's troubles of blue moon dag, steaming your damp ossicles, praying holy prohibition in John Dyspeptis while cold clo goes through the wood with Shep to gather, touting in the chestnut burrs for good boy summers, and mistral blow nose hugs his kindlings when voicey versey it's my gala benefit, robbing leaves out of my tail told book. May my tongue fester if I ever see I such a merry lot of magalines. Once upon a drunken, fairly good drunk it was, and the rest of you blather I'm skite. Just a plain chase by the fire for absence or shh the po, and I'll make ye all an eastern humming sphere of myself the moment that you name the way. Look in the slag scuttle and you'll see me sail spread over the singing. And what do you want trippings for when you've Paris inspire your hat? Says some cordials all around, let ye Oloises and Amines, while I stray, and let ye not be getting grief out of it, though blighted troth be all bereft, on my poor head's sake, even shall we forfeit our life. Lo, improving ages wait ye, in the orchard of the bones, some time very presently now, and when yon clouds are dissipated after their forty-year shower, the odds are, we shall all be hooked and happy, communionistically, among the field knights Elysium, elite of the elect, in the land of lost time. Johannesburg's a revelation. Deck the diamonds that never die, so cut out the lonesome stuff. Drink it up, ladies, please, as smart as you can lower it. Out with Lent, clap hands postillion, fast and tied is by. Your soul in my upper must hereupon part company, so forever fare thee wilt. Parting's fun, take thou the ringles thine, love. This dime doth thrust thee from my arms. Goodbye, Swiss tart, goodbye. Ha, ha. Sure, treasures. A letterman does be often thought reading you between lines that do have no sense at all. I sign myself, with much leg, inflexibly yours, and posh the shore. To be continued. There is something more, a word of parting, and shall the heart's tone be silent. Engagements, I'll be seal you. Fare thee well, fairy well. All I can tell you is this, my sorelies. It's prayers and layers, all the thumping time to gore. The young glorious gang voices, the old doxal lodgers. In the suburbs of the heavenly gardens, once we shall have passed, after surceases, all serene through neck and neckline, derby in June to our snug eternal retribution's reward, the scorch house. Shunt us, shunt us, shunt us! If you want to be Felix, come and be parked. Sacred ease there. The Cianad and Pobal cues remain. To it, to it, 
Seek it head up. No petty family squabbles up there, nor homemade hurricanes in our cohort yard. No cup of hurling, nor apocalypse, nor no punching, jawling, nor no nothing. With the Burns, which is far better, and Eve forever your idol be. You will hardly reconnoiter the old wife in the new bustle, and the farmer Shinner in his latter day paints. It's the full dress two saints wakes walks expedition, after a bail motion from the chamber of Horace. Saffron buns or sovereign bonhams, whichever you're a vader to like it and lump it, but give it a name. Irony all over Ireland's. And there's food for reflection when the whole flock's at home. Hogmay, did you get? Hogmay, did you smell it yet? And hog many do you smell his battery gut? You take Joe's handy's tip for it. Postpartum is the goods, with jollification a tight second. To borrow and to burrow and to barrow. That's our crass, hairy, and ever grim life. To one final how die dow. Bouncer naps or raps on the bell with a bone and a stinker stank behind him with the scepter and the hourglass. We may come, touch and go, from Adams and Ifs, but we're pressurely destined to be odds without end. Here we molt and we cane and talk on the same side, living sure of hardly a doorstep for a stopgap, with who goes there and a live sandbag around the corner. But up me and the prospector, you sprout all your able and woof your wings dead certain, however, of nothing, whatever, to a forever, yam yams in the chair. Ah, sure, pleasant to decide. In the tale of the cow, what a humpty dom earth looks our misery me here today is compared beside the here we are again gaieties at the after a piece when the royal revolver of these real globos lets regally fire as mio copo for the Christmas pandemon to give over and the harlequinade to begin properly, spreaking Mark Time's finished joke, putting all space in a nutshell.